Welcome back to North of the Broad. Dr. Charlene Spiran is with us now. She's administrator for the historic Penn Center, and she's fairly new to this position, had been on the board before. You joined as administrator in September, you said. Correct. So what is exciting you about this new role? Uh, everything, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. Um, you know, I did know a fair amount about the history of Penn Center, was very impressed. Um, from the very first time I step on those grounds, it is hallowed ground. Um, all of these huge oaks, the whispering of the hanging moss, um, it just feeds into what Penn Center has been in the past and present. Mm -hmm. So uh, fantastic staff there that I've joined the team. Lots of challenges, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, no matter where we go today, we hear the word, you know, pandemic. We hear COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. right? And as a historic institution, we do have challenges as a result of that. But so let's um, talk about some of those specific challenges that you have been faced with in this new role. Um, well, obviously, it's revenue. You know, mm -hmm. when you look at a place like, you know, Penn Center, you know, we have our historic buildings, we have our historic houses mm -hmm. that generally they are full, they're rented out. People are coming in, they're having weddings, they're having, you know, uh, using Frizzell Hall for different events, um, you know, just groups, book clubs coming in. Um, all of that contributes to where Penn Center has been and where it's going forward. Mm -hmm. So uh, the pandemic, you know, as of March, everything was just shut stopped, down. Right. Um, you know, certain staff members were furloughed at that time. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much everyone has been brought back. Um, you know, but the challenges are there now in moving forward. Certainly, um, we have been taking advantage of all of the, the CARES money that was available to assist, mm -hmm. um, but that's not gonna keep you forever. And so we are really focusing on how we as a team, mm -hmm. from the director, Mr. Marion Burns, to board members, to staff members, how can we think creatively about keeping the energy of Penn Center going forward? Um, and you know, how can we begin to, you know, begin to recoup some of this revenue that we have lost as a result of the pandemic? What would you say is you know, some of the surprising unknowns about the Penn Center that the public has no idea Well, for about. one thing, um, it is surprising to find out that even today, people are unaware of the, uh, the role that Penn Center played with Reverend King. Um, and, you know, Penn Center was an absolute refuge for him during the civil rights movement because mm -hmm. there were very few places where, um, you know, his team, people of, of color, African American heritage, could gather and really conference and plan what would be hmm. the next step in the hmm. civil rights movement. It was really at Penn Center at Gantt Cottage where Reverend King wrote the early drafts of his phenomenal I Have a Dream speech. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Who knew? See, nobody, <laughs> right. it, it, it truly is amazing. Right here uh, in the backyard of Beaufort County is just this phenomenal place of history. Um, I'm constantly amazed at the number of people that do come through, mm -hmm. even now. Um, just most recently, Saturday, there were people from Boston, there were people from uh, Maryland, uh, Connecticut, and they come in and they, they know they want to go to Penn Center because they know the history that's there. Yes. They may not know everything, but they know that there is a particular draw for yeah. them. And I'm talking about a very diverse population of people coming through. Wow, interesting. Um, it's, it's very exciting for me to be a part of that team. Um, I'm learning as I go. Uh, we have Penn Center 101 for the <laughs> staff every week, um, right. and everyone is given a question and come back, comes back with an answer. Wow. So that you can reach out to any staff member, and they're going to Just have a wealth of knowledge that they're going to be right. able to portray and get. So what are some of the upcoming initiatives that well, you have Well, again, I'm gonna go back planned. to this fact that, you know, we are challenged with revenue at this point. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the very first steps that we took um, was with Pine Cottage, which is a beautiful home mm -hmm. that we have, and it is now on Airbnb. Oh. 
Um, and we are moving forward <laughs> with, you know, our other rental facilities and bringing them into a much wider mm -hmm. public market. Um, board members are working on grants. Mm -hmm. um, staff now, are, we we're all coming together. Um, we're looking at grants that can help from an education point of view, from a historical point of view, from an arts-based point of view. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even myself, I, I have had a history of writing grants. Um, and had success with some of these grants. I'm very focused on the arts. I'm focused on the arts as um, an interdisciplinary way of giving a voice to areas that maybe don't have a voice. Um, it's it's just uh, every day there, it, there's a buzz that's yeah. going on. What can we do next? Isn't it interesting how in difficult, challenging times, how everyone kind of puts on a different hat and, and really can just you know come together and be innovative and re-engineer and figure it out. And, and I think that's the beauty of coming together as a full team. Um, every week I realize I don't have all the answers. Right. Somebody else may have an answer to this. And that answer, you know, is a catalyst for another thought. Um, I also would like to bring forward that, you know, what do I mean by the term modified opening? We are open, but it's modified. Mm -hmm. And so that means that we have all of the safety precautions in place to create right. a healthy environment. We are limiting capacity, mm -hmm. um, you know, coming into the museum or into the welcome center um, to six individuals, you know, right. uh, at a time passing through. Uh, this has been working out just fine. Very good. Um, I would like to encourage people to come out to Penn Center, bring a picnic lunch, visit the museum, <laughs> visit our Welcome Center. Um, Charlene, and I love your enthusiasm and your passion. <laughs> They're so lucky to have you. So welcome in this new role. Yeah, and, well, uh, I'm lucky to have them. Yes. Well, and thank you I so really much. I um, We appreciate you being our guest. I know we'll have you back on. Absolutely. North of the Broad. I appreciate the time. Thank also. you so much. And we'll be right back.